So tonight we're going to set up a crystal grid for manifestation. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to clean our space. So we can do it in a number of ways. I'm choosing to use smoke. This is Palo Santo. You don't necessarily have to use this. You can use white sage, you could use rosemary, you could use eucalyptus, bay, lavender, depending upon your purposes, but this suits mine and it's going to clear out this space. And so I'm setting the stage. I'm creating my own sacred space. I'm going to put that to the side. There are other ways I can do it. I can use it with scent. This happens to be Florida water. You could use lavender water. You could use your favorite perfume, some smell that you like. I can also use sound. I have music playing in the background, so that's helps setting my sacred space. This is an Indian rattle that I was gifted, and I can use that as well, even though my dog doesn't like it. So we'll put that off to the side. So this grid and its purpose is going to help me achieve a better work-life balance. And so I've written that on this card. And I'm going to put that card in where the center will be of my grid. And I'm going to use this doily to cover it up and kind of set it up a little bit better a little bit more distinctively. I'm keeping in mind what my intention is, but I'm also, as I'm doing this, calling on my ancestors to help me out with this, to have as much play as I do work. And I'm calling my ancestors in because this happens to be a doily that my grandmother made. So in the center, I've chosen to use a Spibonacci spiral or the Phi spiral, the golden spiral, whatever you'd like to call it. The center will have my amplifier and I have this piece of fluorite. My amplifier has to have a point to pull the energy, the universal white light the energy in to infuse it into my grid. But I'm gonna put that to the side because I'm not ready for it. The other thing that I decided I would do when I was thinking in terms of how would I exhibit this balance is I thought my chakras would be more balanced um, if I had a better work-life balance in my life and so I've gotten together some things that are special to me some talismans but also some chakra colored stones and so the first one is this piece of garnet and garnet is positive change stone. So I think that's pretty appropriate for what I want to achieve. And so I'm gonna start with that. It corresponds obviously with the root chakra. And I'm sure if I had a better work-life balance, my root chakra would be a bit more balanced as well. Then I'm gonna to go to the sacral chakra and I'm gonna use carnelian. This is a fairly pale piece, but it's a nice orange. And so, Carnelian's a super energy stone. It's boosting. It helps you feel better. So I'm going to put that into the spiral. But I'm leaving space to put some other pieces in as well that I've selected that have meaning for me. They don't necessarily have to have meaning for you, but that's okay. You're going to select your own objects, your own stones, whatever appeals to you and speaks to you. Um, you don't have to have the same same type of stones. Next I'm going to put in a piece of citrine for my solar plexus chakra. That's a pretty good one. It's got a nice golden yellow to it. And I'll put that on the grid. And as I said I'm leaving a little space in between because I have those other things that I want to put in. Citrine brightens your life. Citrine represents positive energy. And so I'm kind of maintaining the spiral as I'm setting up. From the solar plexus chakra, the next place that I'm going to be going is my heart chakra. And for my heart chakra, I made the decision to use um, a nice piece of adventuring. I like adventuring. And I'll tell you a little bit about that one too. <clears throat> Here's this piece of spotted adventuring and adventuring is 
helps to settle your intent, to center your intent, to focus on your intent. So I think it'll help keep me in focus as to this goal that I want to achieve, um, that I'm putting out there to the universe. From there, I'm going to my heart chakra, or I'm sorry, my throat chakra. And for my throat chakra, I've chosen to use a piece of blue lace agate. It's a soothing stone, it brings peace of mind. Um, helps with communication, and it does radiate nurturing energy. And so for my throat chakra, I'm using the blue lace agate. From there, I'm going to go to my third eye chakra. And for my third eye chakra, I've decided I'm going to use some amethyst. I really like amethyst. Um, and for, in all ways, for um, in all purposes, in many purposes. And so um, it's reinvigorating as well. Uh, it also helps bring relaxation and help and health and happiness. So I think that's a good choice. And finally, for my crown chakra, I've chosen, which is kind of no surprise, whoops, a piece of clear quartz. And so I'm going to place that as I move outward through the spiral. And clear quartz is good for my crown chakra. It's also energizing and it revitalizes the soul. And I think that's a really good choice for that. I've also assembled some other things that I want to include in my particular one. And so I've gotten a bunch of things together. A lot of them are shells because I happen to love the beach. It brings me new life. Um, and a lot of joy and so I'm going to place my shells into this spiral these are this one is called an angel wing and I think the angels are watching over us and watching over me so I'm going to place the shells into this spiral and these are personal choices as I said you don't have to pick the same things the other thing that I would like to put in on this spiral is this this is called a wishing stone. And this is something I learned about when I was living up on Cape Cod. Any stone that has an unbroken white or pink line around it is a wishing rock. So it's said if you hold them and make a wish, it will come true. So I'm gonna put that into the spiral as well. And I'm gonna put it in between the amethyst and the blue lace agate. And I'm shifting things around because I haven't really set this yet and you'll see in a moment how that works. So I've now got a rough spiral. I've also surrounded it with a few other things. Selenite for one. And I'm gonna put the selenite here on the edge of the doily as a protective stone because it's also the stone of the angels. So certainly the angels are going to be involved in this endeavor. So now I'm going to set my altar up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my amplifier, I'm going to touch it to each thing that's in my spiral. Each stone I'm keeping in mind, what I'm looking for, what I want to manifest as I'm doing this. And I'm going to place it in the center of my spiral. It's a little bumpy, but I think we'll be okay. I also put a few other things around. One is this rock, which I think is very cool because it reminds me of the rune of trust. And certainly to achieve a manifestation, I need to trust that I'm being heard by the universe. So I'm gonna include that as well. I'm also going to include this, which is a rock, Karen, made out of heart-shaped rocks. So I'm placing that as well. And I also have this shell. Again, if you didn't get it that I like the beach, yes, I do that's there as well and another rock that I absolutely love that I found when I was out in California studying and the final thing that I'm going to place is a card from a friend of mine and it, the quote on it is the less routine the more life and so that's kind of what I'm hoping to achieve and I'm going to one more time clear this And I'm going to use the Palo Santo to 
to do that as well as some sound and I'm doing multiples of three and I'm also going to infuse my energy into this by using my palm chakras and pushing the light from my heart into this And so I hope that kind of helps. Now we're going to leave the universe in charge and trust. <laughs>